with the total amount of hazardous waste produced annually steadily declining due to an increase in recycling and green technology, one might begin to wonder what place hazardous waste landfills have in the future. I think there's definitely a place for, for landfills. And at a contaminated site, you have the, the contaminated material and it's not being controlled. So it's potentially contaminating groundwater, surface water, exposing people. All of these things are, are risks or they might actually be happening. I look at it as an improvement if it's not contained at the cleanup site location, but the facility that it's going to provides adequate containment of it so that it's not harming anyone at that new location or anything. I think that hazardous waste landfills have a purpose and are more controlled than they even were when the regulations were first written. We asked 50 environmental professionals if landfilling simply moves the problem from one location to another. Just over half of them agreed. But let's ask a hazardous waste inspector their thoughts on this. In some respects, you are, you, you're, you're concentrating it in, in one specific location, uh, but what you're doing is concentrating in an area with a specific amount of controls that will pr protect the environment in f for the long term. To keep landfills operating safely before, during, and after closure, they are heavily regulated and must obtain strict permits. The hazardous waste permit lasts uh, for 10 years, and every 10 years that permit needs to be renewed. Uh, reason for that is in case there's uh, different technologies that have come to, come into play or if there's new uh, processes that the facility wants to wants to do let's talk to someone at a hazardous waste facility about what this permit means to them our permit is about three feet of bookshelf um, that's a lot of words that's a lot of requirements and between the the federal regs our operating requirements there's an immense amount of scrutiny and activity that we do. But again, protect, we need to have all of that in place to make sure that we protect the public, we protect our employees, and we protect the environment. Disposal in a landfill is considered a permanent solution for hazardous waste. But what happens when it's full? Let's find out. Our landfill, you can see the one behind me is a, uh, about half full. We've got about probably 40 years of life left in this landfill. Um, once it reaches capacity, we'll put a final cap on that landfill. So it's basically an umbrella over the top. Um, and then we go into what's called the post-closure monitoring period. And that post-closure period is a minimum of 30 years where we babysit the landfill. And that, that, you know, that's probably the best term for it. We'll continue with our leachate removal, leachate monitoring, groundwater monitoring. We'll do visual inspections of the final cover system, again, for a minimum of 30 years. What happens to the land after the landfill closes? Can it be used for anything else? You don't want to do uh, very much to a landfill once it's been closed because anything that you, you do at the surface could jeopardize the integrity of the landfill cap. So once a landfill, always a landfill. Landfills are a place to permanently store hazardous waste, but this makes the land unusable for future generations. So we have to ask, are hazardous waste landfills the best option for dealing with this waste? Why we need a hazardous waste landfill is there are materials that are hazardous. Um, they, they need special processing, special handling, and at the end of the day, they're much better off to be in a protective environment like our facility um, that will keep them out of the environment. Uh, we'll know where they are, what they're doing, and we'll be able to monitor them for a long, long time. And again, it's all about protecting the environment. This is the best place for that type of waste. Hazardous waste landfills reduce possible exposures, and they provide a long-term solution to a serious problem. What it all comes down to is keeping people and the environment safe from contamination.